The state of Alabama, actually the Republican party of the state of Alabama recently passed a resolution within their own little political party, declaring Donald Trump as one of the greatest presidents that the United States has ever seen. Now, not surprisingly, this little resolution that they passed didn't actually list any of the reasons why Donald Trump was the greatest of all time. It, it did say though, that he accomplished more in 46 days than Joe Biden accomplished in 46 years. But again, no list, no bullet points of he did this, that, or the other thing, just a simple declaration saying, we love you. You're one of the greatest. And, uh, I guess we, we hope you have a good day. Um, odd to say the least, especially considering the fact that this serves no purpose, right? This wasn't a state resolution. This was just within the Republican party of the state of Alabama. They just wanted Trump to know that, that they love him and they think he did a good job. But why? See, that's the question I wish people would ask a little bit more often. Why? Not only why did you do this, but why is he the greatest? What did he accomplish in those 46 days? We can tell you what he accomplished in four years, massive job losses, economic recession, hundreds of thousands of people dead from COVID-19 because he didn't take it seriously. And uh, by the way, all of that is actually just from the last 12 months of his administration. What about the state of Alabama itself? Maybe he did some good things there, right? No. Alabama, according to a report from the United Nations uh, about a year or two ago, suffers from some of the worst poverty, not just in the United States, but globally, certainly the worst in the United States, but globally they're ranked among other third world countries, the countries that we send people to as missionaries with, with aid and other things. We, we, we have to send them pharmaceuticals and, and fresh water. And Alabama, according to the UN, in some areas of the state is on par with that. So did Trump do anything to help those people? No, not a thing. That poverty is still there. That poverty has not changed under the Republican rule of the state of Alabama. So I'll ask again, why? Why even pass this resolution when you know damn well that man didn't do a single thing for your state? He didn't do a single thing to make anything better in your state. Beats the hell out of me, right? But this is the cult like following of Donald Trump. These people owe him nothing. He didn't do anything for them, gave them nothing tangible, gave them nothing to hold on to. And yet they're still out there passing resolutions saying, we love you and we will always love you. You were the best. And that's where it ends because if you ask them to elaborate, they're unable to do so. And the reason for that is pretty obvious. The man didn't do anything good during his entire administration. And that's not coming from some ridiculous partisan left-wing hack. That's coming from reality itself. American jobs were shipped overseas. He said he'd keep them here. He didn't. He said he would create more jobs. He didn't. He said this whole pandemic thing that we would have had a normal Easter last year. That didn't happen. He said that China was going to come crawling for mercy as a result of his trade war that yes, absolutely affected farmers in the state of Alabama. Did China come crawling back? Did China concede everything? Nope. And that trade war still rages on today. His policies actively hurt the constituents in the state of Alabama, but the Republican party of that state is so dang blind that they would rather pass a meaningless resolution saying how much they love him rather than work to help their own constituents.